good news according to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 18. At that time, Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. Reflection Message Every disciple is sent by the risen Jesus to proclaim the good news to all creatures. But first, they must repent following the example of the Holy Apostle Paul. Prayer Lord Jesus, you always amaze and surprise me. Each page of the good news takes me from one astonishment to another. People lose their sense of wonder when they become accustomed to taking things lightly. I truly feel amazed and pleasantly surprised when you send me as a messenger of the good news. Lord, is it really so? I am a sinner, ordinary, lacking in intelligence, full of flaws and imperfections, and yet you trust and entrust me with such responsibility. Lord, is there a mistake? I ask you, Lord, but the answer is already there. I know it's not a mistake on your part, but rather your love and trust in me. For you, no one is so bad that they need to be rejected. You want everyone to be a disciple, a witness for you, because no matter how weak and sinful we are, your grace and love are stronger than our sins and weaknesses. No one expected that Saul, the persecutor of the church, would become the chief apostle of the church. No one expected that Peter, who denied you, would become the first leader of the church. Lord, your grace has transformed them and dedicated them entirely to you. As for me, I did not expect it either. I can only be grateful for your love for me. Please help me to take responsibility courageously. Help me to continually repent every day so that I can follow you more closely and dedicate myself more fully. I place my complete trust in your holy grace. Amen. Lesson. When choosing people, the Lord does not follow the usual human standards, but rather follows very unusual criteria. No need for high education, no need for exceptional talent, no need for cleverness. Reading the history of the church, although we find no saint comparable to St. Paul, the church has exalted St. Paul as the supreme guide and most credible. The Church has given St. Paul a significant place in the catechesis of Christians. Most of the daily readings in the Mass or in the daily prayers quote from his rich, profound, practical, and relevant letters. However, almost never does he appear to be superior. If anything, when he speaks, he boasts about his weaknesses, foolishness, meanness, contempt, and nothingness, so that the love of God for him can be seen more clearly. His return also deserves much reflection for us. What is a return? Returning is walking on a path, realizing that the path is wrong, and decisively turning back. If you only know but don't turn back, it's not a return. St. Paul turned back decisively, a full 180 degrees, and turned back very quickly. Mrs. Reside was the first missionary for the Kiowa tribe in Oklahoma. They affectionately called her Aim Deco, which means turn back. When explaining why they chose that name for her, the chief said, When our Kiowa tribe members see someone going the wrong way, we say to them, Aim Deco. They hear and turn back in the right direction. This woman came from a distant place to us. She saw that we were going astray and she showed us the right path, the path of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless Aim Day Co. Moody Monthly. May each of us also know how to return to the Lord every time we go astray.